Hello, this is Maggie, and I'm going to start a, a new video series about setting temperaments, but it's mainly to teach concepts in, involved with setting a temperament. So I'm not going to start out setting a good temperament. I'm going to set a temperament, but it's going to be very bad. Uh, I'm just going to start out with basic concepts, and then each video I will teach more and more about refining um, I'm not going to show how I set a temperament until very close to the end of the series, so it's probably going to be a while. The first thing I ever learn, and the first thing some people learn, not everyone, when they learn about setting a temperament, is you can hit every note by going up a fifth and down a fourth. To, you know, So if I start on F, and I'm going to be starting on F for these videos, if someone wants me to start on a different note to teach something, just let me know. Otherwise, I'm starting on F. So if I go up a fifth, and this is out of tune, up a fifth, down a fourth, up a fifth, down a fourth, up a fifth, down a fourth. Now, up a fifth puts me past F, so I'm going to go down a fourth twice here, up a fifth, down a fourth, up a fifth, down a fourth, then I'm on F. So I'm going to, uh, in a previous video, which I'll share, I'll add to this playlist, and I'll link that down in the description below to the playlist. I set, I did this, but I tuned each interval, interval pure, and the octave came out quite nasty. I expect this to maybe be slightly better, but not much. I am going to tune each fifth slightly narrow and each fourth slightly wide, but I'm not going to go crazy measuring them. So it's it's not going to be great, but... This is to teach a concept. So here I go. I have a, what I think is a very narrow fifth, and I'm going to raise C to bring it a little bit closer. And I want my, for this video, I'm going to put my fourth around a beat a second, maybe a little more. And my fifths, I would like to be less than a beat a second. Fifths are narrow, fourths are wide. Here I go. So I'm going to leave my fifth there for the moment, and I'm going to go down a fourth. Oh my goodness, I don't know which side my G is on. I knew which side the C was on. I have a narrow fourth, so I need to make it wide. So I'm lowering G. I'm going to put it there, so I have a wide fourth. Now I'm going to go up a fifth. I don't know which side I'm on. I'm not I'm trying not to measure. It's really hard for me not to measure these right now. I was uh I had a wide fifth, so I'm going pure. I mean I'm going narrow. So that's a narrow fifth. Now I'm gonna go down a fourth. I'm gonna lower A, and if I'm on the wrong side, I'll have to bring it back up. went too far. My ceiling fan is messing with my hearing. But this is for a concept, so this might be really off. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to go up a fifth. Here we go. So let's make this narrow. I'm moving E. be too narrow, but I'm going to leave it down a fourth. This needs to be wide, so I'm going to lower B. Too far. Okay, now I don't want to go past my F to this F sharp, so I'm going down a fourth again. And I'm going to uh, lower F sharp, uh, unless it's already too wide, but I suspect this fourth is narrow right now. Yep. hearing that F sharp. I want to measure it so bad. I'm trying not to. Okay, now I need to make this fifth narrow. So I'm going to lower C sharp. Uh, 
I'm pretty sure that's near. <laughs> I gotta move it. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, hold on. I got one slow beat and one fast beat. This is my somer. Oh boy. Tuning that note. Okay, now I'm going to leave it there. My fifth is narrow. Like this for. Ooh. Oh my gosh. This is scaring me. <laughs> okay, here's the fifth. Ah, that could be worse. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure my fifth is narrow. I'm tuning F now. Oops, passed it. I'm wide. Now I'm narrow. I think that's a little too narrow, but so are some of the others. Past it. I'm gonna leave it there. Okay. Time of truth. Here's the octave. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. I got I got very, very lucky. Let's measure this octave now. If you don't know what I'm doing. Don't worry, I'm gonna explain this later. For those who do know what I'm doing, I have to measure this octave. There you go. It's a little fast. So I have a slightly narrow, I think. So that's not horrendous, as far as my octave goes. So I got very lucky there. That's just tuning a million pianos. I mean, it's not right, but it could have been worse. So I'm gonna check my major thirds. Let's see how off everything is. Woo! That's slow. That's booking. That's slow, booking, slow. So I've got slow, well, no wait, rather too fast. Those are off, but they're close. Slower, mm, that's ridiculously fast. That's too slow. Yeah. That's on the slow side. So obviously this is not good. Well, let's do sixth. Those aren't as bad as I was expecting. Um, so, you know, yeah. anyway. Oh yeah, I was gonna play chords. <laughs> Sorry, it's funny. <laughs> This could have been worse. It's bad. But but it could have been worse. So I'm not doing all the checks. Obviously, this is not good. However, 
this is going to be a lot better than the one where I tuned intervals pure. So the point is you want your fifth snare, your fourth slide. We're getting closer. My next video, I'm going to do some tricks someone uh, showed me to get it even closer. And I'm going to do that with each video. I'm going to get it closer and closer and refined to teach the, the concepts involved with setting a temperament. Because if you just have a sequence and you only follow the sequence, you don't necessarily understand interval relationships. So I'm just going to slowly explore that in this video series and see where we go. If anyone has any anything you'd like me to try or, or questions that I might be able to help with, please let me know. And happy tuning. Bye-bye.